Team News. Several people are sent to the hospital after a possible meth lab explodes in a Clark County apartment. State police are trying to find a man in connection to a death investigation. And a deadly crash shuts down a busy Kentucky roadway. LEX 18 News at 11 starts now. Good evening, I'm Brianna Gilroy. Thanks for joining us on LEX 18 News at 11. Three people were hurt in Clark County this evening after a fire. Police say they're still investigating what caused it, but the homeowner says he has an idea. Jessica Reyes explains in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 11. And I smell something real funny, you know, like a metallic smell or something. John Ratliff, who says he lives in the apartment where the fire broke out, was letting a couple stay with him. He says he was watching TV in the living room with his fiance when the woman came out of the bedroom yelling. She's on fire, yelling, help me. So I had a blanket on the back of my chair and I grabbed the blanket and I started putting her out. Someone said that a meth lab blew up in her face. So I was freaking out. Police had to evacuate eight apartments as a precaution. Some neighbors explained what police told them had happened. And that's what blew up was the Coleman field that they actually did not get to finish the process of the meth lab. Ratliff says he was trying to help the couple who used to be his neighbors but had recently gotten kicked out and had no place to go. Somebody stay with you for six hours, you know, and then this is what happens. Police say they're still investigating what caused this fire. Covering the news in Clark County, Jessica Reyes, LEX 18 News. And all of those residents have since been allowed to return to their homes. Few answers so far in a Hardin County death investigation. State police spent most of the day at a property in Vine Grove. All the while, they're still looking for a man who could provide them with some answers. LEX 18's Evan Gorman is there with more. All afternoon and into the evening, state police have been at a home right past that cop car trying to figure out what happened as detectives work to collect evidence on the scene here along Croom Road. As detectives work to collect evidence here on the scene along Croom Road, KSP is also looking for Timothy George Cruz. We are told Cruz has active warrants in Hardin County and is also wanted in questioning related to this death investigation. His last known address is in the Rineville area, but he is believed to have been staying here around Vine Grove. We will continue to bring you any new information both on air and online at LEX18.com. But for now, we are covering the news in Hardin County from the LEX18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. Lexington police say they still don't have any leads after someone opened fire at a large group of people partying near UK's campus. Police were called out to the Red Mile Village apartments off Red Mile Road. Two people were shot in the leg in a crowd of more than 200 people. Those who live at the complex say large parking lot parties are fairly common and the large crowds could just be an easy target. My guess would just be it's just two guys coming by just to try to kind of wreak havoc at the party. Yeah. Because, wow. I mean, it'd probably be hard to pick out the two guys you exactly wanted like while in your car driving by. So I, I guess it was just random. Police say the shooters were in a red F-150 pickup. Just last month, UK students were hit with another shooting on Red Mile Road. That time, a man was shot in the foot at the University Trails Apartments. A fairly quiet weekend for many in the bluegrass, but southeast Kentucky today, we were tracking numerous showers and thunderstorms. And still, just past 11 o'clock on the Max Track Live Doppler, we're tracking some additional ones over some areas that have seen rain repeatedly different times throughout the day today. So uh, down near Stanton, Essel County, urban area as well, this shower cluster is going to be moving northeastward, so eventually towards Menifee County, then the Moorhead area and Rowan County. Some additional shower activity down towards the Bowling Green area, south central Kentucky. This will move northeastward tonight. Then we will see some of those showers encounter the bluegrass. Rainfall totals from heavy rain persistently over some areas have produced uh, almost an inch in Somerset. Some isolated spots, though, saw rainfall rates 
one to even three inches per hour. So some accumulations at unofficial recording sites were around an inch or more. It's going to be a cloudy and cool start to June as we're tracking some changes that are going to be pushing into the area. A cold front's going to meander around the area, but an upper area of low pressure, this little swirly in the atmosphere here, this is going to be moving northeastward into our region, bringing clouds, showers and much cooler temperatures for the start to your work week. We'll talk about just how cool coming up in your complete storm tracker forecast in a few minutes. Brianna. Police are searching for a killer who stabbed a man at a gas station. It happened shortly before seven tonight at a shell station in Louisville. The victim was stabbed several times, then rushed to the hospital where he died. His name has not been released and police have not commented on what may have led to that stabbing. Part of the Bluegrass Parkway was shut down tonight after a fatal accident. It all happened around 630 near mile marker 56 in Lawrenceburg. We're told a car was going east on the parkway when they lost control, went over the embankment and then landed in some trees. The Anderson County coroner tells us one person was killed and a second person was seriously injured. Right now we know we've got uh, one person seriously injured uh, requiring a uh, air ambulance evacuation. We've got one person deceased at the scene. Um, as far as uh, the contributing factors to the uh, accident, it's too early in the investigation to make any comment on that. There was also a puppy in the vehicle who seems to be doing okay. The identities of the two people inside the car have not been released. All lanes have been reopened to traffic. Police are still looking for suspects in an apartment shooting in Lexington. Late Friday night, police say two men busted into an apartment on Alumni Drive. A man was there with his girlfriend and got into an argument with those men. They fired a shot at him and hit him in the arm. Nothing was taken from the apartment and police haven't said what the motive could have been. The suspects are described as two thin black men wearing all black and they have their faces covered. And the search continues for the man who used a stun gun on a bank teller during a robbery Friday. These are security images from the Chase Bank on Richmond Road. Police say around 930 the robber came in, jumped the gate to get behind the counter and hit one of the women working with a stun gun. That woman wasn't hurt, but she was shaken up. The robber was well covered, so police don't have a great description of him. The best they can say is he is a black man with a light complexion, stands about five foot nine and has a thin build. He may have also been wearing fake dreadlocks. And there's an update to a violent armed robbery in Louisville where a clerk was shot. Police have arrested Catherine Marie Stevens on attempted murder and robbery charges. Police say Stevens was trying to steal several items from a family dollar store Thursday. When an employee tried to stop her, police say Stevens hit her in the face, then pulled out a gun and shot her in the ear. She was arrested Friday. And state police are still hoping to find the semi-driver who crashed into one of their cruisers and then took off. It happened around midnight Friday at the intersection of Highway 192 and 363 in Laurel County. Trooper Donnie Foley was stopped when a semi-truck hit the back of his cruiser. Then the truck backed up and hit him again. After the second hit, the truck took off. Trooper Foley was taken to the hospital and released later in the day. The semi did not have a trailer and the trooper did not get a good look at it. A man's bad idea to try.